Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Fort Biology and today we we'll continue our study on the plant kingdom. Of course, we're looking at another vascular plant, say, another non-vascular plant that is what the bryophyte. In the last episode, you have not watched it, please go to that episode and watch it. We we'll talk about what the talophytes, all right? And they are also what non-vascular like the bryophytes, okay? So now, after we are done with what with this study, we are going to take questions from the old three schools jam app. Know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only old three schools jam app. It is all you need to succeed in your exam. It has all the past questions you ever need in one app. Also for all subjects, and also have what some wonderful features designed to make you perform excellently well in your exam, like the classroom feature where you can what study lecture notes. And after studying lecture notes, you are going to what take what tests from each word topic according to the jam syllabus is that not wonderful then also we also have the question search feature where you can search for question according to topics and the question that jam has set under any topic will come out under that particular topic that you are searching for will come out for you to answer also you have the utm challenge it's a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing jam for a particular year to win prizes every week till one week to the main jam exam to win prizes every week to the till one week to the main jam exam but winning the prize is not the what most important thing the most important reason for the challenge is that you are getting used to how jam set that question all right because every week you also, you also be seeing what your jam results release after every challenge that you participate in according to your syllabus okay and according to what your subject combination all right so after that also you are what building confidence towards what your main what exam and because you are your result every week you're able to track your progress okay so let's say in a particular week you score uh, 205 in the next challenge you score 220 in the next challenge you score 240 like that like that and it keeps going up then you know that what you are already what getting what prepared that means that what's in the main jam is there's no demon there's no devil that'll make you score less than what your desired score in what in your exam all right so please jump on the app right now all these features and more the life changer novel is also on the app and any other novels that you want to meet for your exam they are all what on the application so jump on the app right now download the app from play store it's been displayed on your screen. Oh, to the school jump app. Download from Play Store, and after downloading, you need to activate for just three thousand naira. Okay, as I time of shooting this video is three thousand naira, it may definitely what increase in the future. So download the application, activate it to activate. Just click on activate on the app. After downloading, click on activate, and at the top you see where they wrote buy activation key. So click on buy activation key, and of course you will see three options for payment. You can pay by 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 bank transfer to the other schools. App account. You can also what use Google Pay to what to pay. You can also use your ATM card to pay online. Okay, so paying online with your ATM card will automatically unlock the app for you to start what practicing immediately. Okay, but if you are what transferring to the what to the Old Three Schools app account, you need to what send a message to this number zero nine one two one five one five two four six you need to what send the receipt of your payment to this number on whatsapp okay once you send the receipt to what zero nine one two one five one five two four six on whatsapp we will what immediately what attend to you and manually activate your app for you to start using immediately okay so enough about the app please it is very very it's a very good requirement for what for your for your exam okay so now Let's talk about the bryophytes. You see, bryophytes do not have vascular what tissues. That means they do not have what specialized tissues for the transportation of mineral and what and other what resources. Okay. Now, the plant body has root-like, stem-like, and leaf-like or structure. The plant body has root-like, stem-like, and leaf-like structures. If you watch the last episode, we'll talk about the talophytes. We say the talophytes have what the talus. Okay, it has what the talus. Okay, the talus is what is does not have what this does not have cannot be differentiated into distinct parts like what like the stem, like the root and the leaves. Okay, in fact, the talophytes do not have true roots. Okay, but the bryophytes they do. They have what roots. They can be differentiated what into what different parts like the roots, the stem and the leaf. Okay, now then they are terrestrial plants. That means they what they need soil for what for nutrients. They need what they, they grow what on the land. Okay, but but one important thing is that what they are called the 
amphibians of the plant kingdom. They are called the amphibians. You know what amphibians are? Amphibians are what? Are animals that live on both land and what? And water. Okay? We call what? The bryophyte, the amphibians of the plant kingdom. And the reason why we call them the amphibians of the plant kingdom is because they need water for sexual reproduction. They need water for sexual what? reproduction. That is the reason why we call the bryophyte the amphibians of the plant kingdom. The reason is because they need what? Water. For what? For sexual reproduction. Okay. Now, reason it. The uh, the male organs for the, of the, of the bryophytes. Okay. The male organ that produce was sperm. Okay. The then we have the female organ that what that produces what the egg. Okay. Now the egg. They are what they are non-motile. The, the female organ, the eggs that are produced are what they are non-motile. By non-motile, I mean that what they cannot, they do not have the, possess the ability to move. Okay, why what the the male organ that produces the sperm? Okay, they are flagellate. Okay, the sperm that they produce are what they are flagellate. That means they have flagella for what for motion for movement. Okay, they have a whip-like what structure that for what for movement. All right, so they can move, but they cannot what travel to meet what the egg. Okay, without what water. So they need water, they need to swim through water to go and meet what the egg. Okay, that is what happens during what the reproduction. Okay, that is why we say they need water for sexual reproduction, and the reason why we call them what the amphibians of what or the plant kingdom. All right, they need the soil for what for nutrients, and then they also need water for sexual reproduction. All right, so now. They are present in what in moist and shady places. Of course, already you know why they why they are present what in moist or places because they were, because they need what water. They need water for for the production. All right, examples of uh, bryophytes are liverworts, liverworts, okay, mosses, machenta, and what hornworts. These are examples of what of bryophytes. Examples of bryophytes are liverworts, mosses, machenta, and what and hornworts. Okay, so now bryophytes do not produce flowers or seeds. And they reproduce via spores and, pos and possess no specialized work, specialized tissues. Okay, bryophytes do not produce flowers or seeds, and they reproduce via spores. All right, the the sporophyte what generates what spores. Okay, so they reproduce what through through what spores and possess no specialized tissues for what water conduction. They do not have specialized tissues for what for water what conduction because first of all they are what they are non vascular they are not vas they are not vascular so they do not have the xylem or the phloem for what for water conduction and for what and for what manufacturing of what of food or storage of or storage of food. All right now two Bryophytes are divided into two main divisions, which include the liverworts, right? An example of the liverwort is what is machentia, right? And the mosses. An example of the mosses is what is phagnum. Okay, please take note of that. Bryophytes are divided into two main divisions, which include the liverworts, for example, the machentia, and the mosses, which example is what is phagnum. Okay, so put that back of your mind. Then of course, bryophytes show alternation of generation. Bryophytes show alternation of what of generation in which the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte. All right, so, uh, bryophytes show alternation of generation in which the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte. Now, it is important to know that plants have what what we call the haploid phases and the diploid what phases, which show the generation and what an alternation. Okay, that we're talking about. Plants have what the haploid, haploid. And then the diploid phases. All right, which shows what the what this alternation of generation that we're talking about. Okay, so now the upload word phase, all right, the upload phase is what, what uh, produces what the male what gametes. Okay, the upload phase is what, what produces what the what the gametophyte. The upload phase is what produces what the gametophyte, while the diploid phase is what was produces what the sporophyte. Okay? The haploid phase produces what the gametophyte, the diploid phase produces what the sporophyte. Okay? Let me put that somewhere here. The haploid phase produces the word the uh, gamme, gametophyte. Okay? Why what the diploid phase produces what what we call the sporophyte. Okay, so the haploid phase produces what the gametophyte, while the diploid phase produces what the what the sporophyte. Okay, now the haploid phase, the 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 haploid phase here, or what the gametophyte, what generates what we call the gametes. The haploid phase generates what the what the gametophyte, and that's what we call and, and that's what produces what the gametes. The gametophyte produces what the gametes, while the diploid. 
okay, which produces what the sporophyte is what produces what the spores, okay, it's what generates the spores, it's what produces the spores, it's what generates the spores, the diploid, the sporophyte generates spores, the gametophyte generates what the gamete, and the gametophyte is what is the main plant body, the gametophyte is the main plant body the gametophyte is what is the main plant what body okay so you need to what, take note of that the gametophyte is the main plant body okay so i'll go over that again i say bryophytes show alternation of generation in which the sporophyte is dependent on the gametophyte all right now then four we say in bryophytes the haploid gametophytes okay produces the male gamete and female gamete Okay, like I said, in bryophyte, the haploid gametophyte produces the male gametes and female gametes, while the sporophytes are unbranched and produces what sporangium or what one will call what the spores. Okay, the sporophyte produces what or generates the spores, while what the what the gametophyte produces what the gametes, the male and female what gametes. Okay, as you can see here. Then also, lastly, in bryophytes, the male sex organ is referred. The male sex organ is very important. You know this. The male sex organ is referred to as the anteridium. The male sex organ is referred to as the anteridium, while the female sex organ is referred to as the archegonium. Okay, please take note of that. The male sex organ is referred to as the anteridium. As you can see here, anteridium. Why the word uh, why the female sex organ is called what the archegonium, and of course the ante, ante, uh, ante, anteridium is what produces what the male gametes that we call the anterozytes. Anterozytes. You must take note of that. Okay, in bryophyte, the male sex organ is known as what or referred to as the anteridium. The female uh, organ referred to as what as the archegonium, and the anteridium. Produces what we call what the anterozoids, anterozoids, okay, anterozoids rather. All right. So now, also, it's also important to know that bryophytes possess root-like structures called what rhizos. Okay, bryophytes possess root-like structures. Bryophytes possess root-like structures. I'm, I think we're done here. Bryophytes produce root-like structures called what rhizoids. They possess root-like structures that we call what the rhizos. Okay, and I can ask now. Let me bring it out for you to see very properly. Like I said, the in bryophyte, the male sex organ is the anteridium. Anteridium. The female sex organ is called the archegonium. And then we say that the anteridium produce, produces what we call what the anterozoids. Okay, so please take note of what all these terms are very, very, very what important. All right, so this is what you need to know about what the bryophytes. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the Otter School Jam app. But please make sure you like this video. Make sure, of course, you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscription is completely free. It's just to notify you whenever we release a new video. And do not forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones. Because if you are not doing that, that is wickedness. So that you are learning, let others also what learn and benefit and pass their pass their exam also. Now let's me let us jump to the old three school jump up now and take what the uh take some questions from the app. Okay, so we have what uh, a 2006 question here number 33. Okay, they say the dominant face is being displayed is being displayed on your screen right now, and it says the dominant face in the life cycle of a bryophyte is the, of course is the gametophyte. Okay, I see the gametophyte is the main plant body, is the main plant body. Okay, so uh, uh, option A they say is uh, gametangium, B they say sporophyte, C they say gametophyte, D they say protalus. And correct answer there is what is the gametophyte, okay? It's the more dominant phase in the life cycle of a bryophyte, okay? The gametophyte, it's what, what produce what the male and what and female what gametes, okay? So now we also have what uh, 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 another question, a 2014 number nine question. And we are, we're asked here yeah, that, that in bryophytes, sex organs are produced in the, the, the option A is sporophyte, B gametophyte, C rhizoid, D protena. Okay, and the correct answer there is what is gametophyte. Okay, now I can say the sporophyte produces what the what the spores. Okay, produce what the spores. Okay, the gametophyte is what that produces what the gametes, the sex organs. Okay, the male and what and female. As you can see here, see in bryophyte, the haploid gametophyte produces the word male gamete and the female gamete. Okay, the sporophytes are unbranched and produces what sporangium. 
All right. So you must take note of that. The same embryophyte sex organs are produced in is what is the gametophyte. All right. And we said the C here are given rhizoid. Rhizoid will say that what with the bryophyte possess root-like structures. Okay. Because a root-like structure that we call what the rhizos. Okay. So please know that these questions come out in your exam and make sure you take them what serious. Okay. So in the next episode, we're going to we'll talk about something different. See on the kingdom of plantae. And of course, we're going to learn in those. And I would love to see you in that episode. Thank you for watching and see you in the next class.